This jump demonstration shows how to calculate sample size and power for a hypothesis test on a single sample mean. Jump has a collection of interactive sample size calculators, called Sample Size Explorers, under the DOE menu. The calculator for a single sample mean test is found under Power, and Power for one sample mean. In the top panel, we'll specify the type of test, either one-sided or two-sided, the significance level, alpha, and whether the population standard deviation is known, where selecting yes performs calculations for a z-test and no performs calculations for a t-test. We'll use the defaults here, meaning that we'll perform calculations for a two-sided t-test with an alpha of 0.05. In the profiler section below, we have three interactive graphs that show the relationship between power on the y-axis and either sample size, the difference to detect, or the population standard deviation on the x-axis. We can use the sliders or manual text entry to change these values. For example, we might specify a difference to detect of 3, and a population standard deviation of 2, and then enter a power of 80% to see what the necessary sample size would be. We see that a sample size of 6 would yield a power of 83.25%. Note that the power isn't exactly 80% as we entered, because sample size must be an integer and there isn't a sample size that will yield exactly 80% power. A sample size of 6 is the smallest sample size that will yield a power of at least 80%. Note that when we entered our desired power, it was the sample size value that updated, while difference to detect and standard deviations stayed at the values that we had entered. This is because sample size was selected in the Solve For drop-down menu. If we were to select another parameter, for example difference to detect, then it's that parameter that will be calculated while holding the others constant at their current settings. Here we can see that assuming a sample size of 6 and a standard deviation of 2, the smallest difference that we can detect with 80% power is approximately 2.87. We've been using manual entry to perform our calculations, but we can also use the graph sliders to interactively explore the relationships between hypothesis test parameters and power. For example, we can see how decreasing the size of the difference to detect changes the shape of the relationship between sample size and power that's shown on the left. As we explore different scenarios, we can save our results for later reference to help us choose the sample size that we'll ultimately use in our study. Clicking the Save Settings button saves the current values to a table at the bottom of the window, with radio buttons to return to those settings at any time. Under the red triangle, we have options to simulate data according to the current parameter values that we've specified, as well as an option to create a data collection table for the sample size that we've chosen.